Welcome to Mount Hagen, located in Anaconda, Montana. This is the state's largest wildlife management area with 60,000 acres. And what that means is that there's plenty of opportunity for outdoor enthusiasts. Today, I'm gonna to show you a little bit about what you can do in this area. Also, we will be learning about a big win for mother nature right here on Mount Hagen. Join me with FWP. I take my fly rod and explore this vast wilderness of paradise. Despite this area's incredible beauty, Mount Hagen's history is vastly different. Anaconda was established in 1883 by one of the Copper Kings, Marcus Daly, as a new site for a smelter to treat ores. The smelter stack was completed in 1919 and dominated the landscape exacting a heavy toll on Montana's wild lands and wildlife habitat. Uh, back in the day when uh, it was in operation, smelting the copper ore, and um, there's a lot of heavy metals that uh, were emitted from the plume and given the prevailing winds deposited in this area, which kind of makes it look like this whole moonscape and also evidenced by um, these remnants of uh, trees that were logged. That was part of logging that occurred here um, over a century ago. And those trees never grew back because simultaneously with the logging came the emission plume from the, the smelter um, and contaminated the soil. So there was no regeneration of these forests. The contamination of the landscape due to the copper and lumber mining, had a ripple effect to the wildlife's habitat. The injury um, to aquatic life is, is copper is the main um, constituent. Copper at very low levels can cause injuries uh, to aquatic species. So that was the driver here to do. For the past 14 years, FWP, among other state agencies, joined together to restore a certain section in Mount Hagen, a place that was vacant of life. On these hills for a long time. To restore this area and avoid copper going into the creeks, they had to disturb the soil by adding grass and other organic material. Almost three parties, you could say, uh, it was the NRD program for the state of Montana, EPA, and then Fish, Wildlife, and Parks. And since they're the stewards of the land, you know, it was really important that we try to achieve a, a product that meets their goals and objectives, which was really the, the habitat part. So, you know, EPA's component is we, we wanted to reduce stormwater runoff uh, to mill and willow creeks and reduce copper loading uh, into, into those streams. That was our kind of primary goal. The, the NRD goal wanted to kind of restore the land, but uh, FWP wanted to, you know, enhance and increase habitat uh, uh, up here and also make it much more usable for the public in general. And after 14 years, this site has received a completion certificate from the EPA. This successful restoration and remediation work from state agencies will be the guideline for other areas like this in the future. Since 1976, it has been a favorite place for a lot of people to recreate, camping, fishing, hunting, uh, just spending time with their family in the great outdoors, uh, wildflower watching, wildlife watching. It's just a fabulous area. With organizations coming together, the future and hope of Mount Hagen continues to be bright to see it remain in perpetuity, to uh, continue to assist this uh, return of ecological function, to maintain the whole area um, in an ecologically functioning way um, for future generations to just enjoy all this raw natural beauty that's up here. I'm Lauren Carnap, and remember, the outside is in us all. <laughs>